PBS had a lot of great shows for kids, but Arthur was truly top tier. I can't think of any other educational show that had an episode that was directly related to 9-11 and expressed in such a clear way how some kids might cope with traumatic experiences. The show Arthur never shied away from touchy subjects of the 90s and early 2000s like homosexuality or book banning. But today, we need to talk about what was perhaps Arthur's darkest episode. Interestingly enough though, the show didn't use the exact event to represent the terrorist attack on 9-11, but instead chose to create a tense situation for Arthur and his neighborhood that anyone could relate to. This worked really well for the show and was a great way to symbolize the traumatizing effect that 9-11 had on those who were involved, both directly and indirectly. It made the experience relatable to anyone without singling out those who might not have been alive yet when the attack occurred. You have to remember, Arthur was an educational show that was meant for young kids, after all. So a lot of the audience watching reruns of the episodes likely weren't even born when the attack happened. The episode was titled April 9th, and as you'd expect, it was named after the same day as the in-show tragedy that struck the core of the entire town. The day in Elwood City started as it normally did, and most of the students were at school, including Arthur. However, shortly after classes started, all the students and teachers were shocked to hear the fire alarm ringing through the halls. A fire had broken out in the building and everyone was forced to evacuate. Little did everyone realize, though, the fire would impact much more than the portion of the school that it physically damaged, and a lot of the students would have to learn to cope in their own way because of it. But how could a cartoon about a glasses-wearing aardvark relate this subject matter to actual kids in the real world? Well, the show went about it in a really smart way and broke the episode down into subplots, each of which covered a different way that someone may be affected by a traumatic experience, starting with Arthur. At the beginning of the episode, Arthur learned that his father was working as a caterer for the school and was actually on site during the fire. After the young boy was evacuated with the rest of his class, he turned to face the school and waited for his dad to emerge safe and sound. The episode made it clear that Arthur was getting more distraught as time continued to pass, and eventually he even started crying out for his dad and asked the firefighters to go inside and help. Thankfully, not long after that, Arthur's father emerged from the school with nothing more than some ash marks on his face. He embraced his son, fully unaware of the damage that the fire had caused to Arthur's mental health. Throughout the rest of Arthur's portion of the episode, he is shown worrying about the safety of himself and his family. Every time his dad had to leave, Arthur would worry that he wouldn't come back. And as sad as that is, I think that's an amazing thing for a show like this to teach children. It shows kids that it's normal to be concerned after something major happens in their life. But what makes it even better is that the show teaches some great ways for anyone, adult or child, to cope. Once Arthur's dad realized what was going on with his son, he had a heart-to-heart -heart with Arthur and explained that he didn't have to worry about him all the time. According to Arthur's dad, it's the parent's job to worry about their child, not the other way around. And after they talked some more, Arthur began to worry less, showing just how healthy a good dialogue between parents and children can be. But what about the rest of Arthur's classmates? Sue Ellen's experience was an amazing representation of the effect that losing something sentimental can have on a person. And with the help of those around them, a person can learn to move forward without forgetting what's or who was so important to them. Since Sue Ellen usually played a smaller part whenever she appeared in an episode, the fact that they gave her a compelling storyline in this episode made the lesson even more impactful. Unlike most of the students, Sue Ellen could be seen looking back toward her classroom as she evacuated the building. This was because her treasured scrapbook that held all the memories from her family's travels was trapped inside of her backpack, which she was forced to leave behind. To make things even worse, as she stood outside waiting to be let back into the school to grab her backpack, she saw one of the firefighters carrying its burned and tattered remains. Sue Ellen wept as she looked at her treasure, which was now destroyed, and she was clearly wondering how she could ever recover. I mean, it wasn't just paper that was destroyed, it was her literal memories, which I think a lot of people who have lost something sentimental can relate to. And remember, even though this episode was meant to symbolize the impact that 9-11 had on the world, they used a fire instead of a terrorist attack to make it relatable to everyone, even those who weren't impacted as much. 
Sue Ellen spent the rest of the episode mourning her lost memories, and her friend Muffy noticed this. In an attempt to help her friend, Muffy tried to give Sue Ellen a new, nicer scrapbook than the one that she lost in the fire. Sadly, Muffy didn't realize that it wasn't necessarily the book that the young girl was mourning, but instead it was what was within its pages. Muffy continued to try to help Sue Ellen feel better, but funny enough, it actually worked. Sue Ellen could see just how much her friends cared about her, and even though the new scrapbook couldn't possibly replace the old one, she saw that it could help her move forward. This is a great way to teach young kids that it's okay to move on from things that you've lost even though you still miss them, and sometimes all it takes is a little help from your friends. Sue Ellen wasn't entirely over the loss of her original scrapbook, but with the help of those around her, the pain seemed to fade a little bit. Now, what about those people who weren't directly affected by 9-11? What sort of message did the April 9th episode of Arthur have for them? Well, believe it or not, through Buster's subplot, the show taught kids that it's okay to not feel things as deeply as others around you might be feeling. It doesn't necessarily mean that there's anything wrong with you for not being impacted as much as others, especially if you weren't directly involved in the incident. In Buster's case, he actually wasn't in school on the day of the fire because he slept through his alarm. Therefore, he wasn't feeling the same sort of trauma that some of the other students were feeling. Instead, he sort of felt left out for missing the biggest event of the school year. So when he and the other students began attending a different school temporarily, in order to feel like he was a part of the group, he began lying about things that happened during the fire. Arthur ended up calling him out for being insensitive, which prompted Buster to ask his mom why he wasn't feeling as bad as the other kids, and this was when his mom taught him a valuable lesson. She assured him that his feelings were valid, even if they were different from those around him. And the only reason he didn't feel as bad as the other students is that he wasn't there to experience it firsthand. But more importantly, there is nothing wrong with that. This can be related to the 9-11 attack because even though it was an event that shook the nation, not everyone was directly affected by it. And because of that, the level of grief tended to vary based on who you spoke to about it. And again, there's nothing wrong with that. Now, what about those kids who saw the event happen? What do you think happened to them? Well, the only instance that we got to see where we actually know a student saw the fire was Binky, the school's tough guy, and the event actually made him a lot more cautious. You see, Binky was facing something that he couldn't simply power through. Being one of the few students who actually saw the fire, he faced a fear that other students may not have had. When he went home on the night of the fire, Binky was watching TV and proceeded to have a very realistic PTSD reaction to seeing a fire on the show he was watching. He even began testing out the fire alarm system at the new school by triggering it and measuring the response time of the local firefighters. While the episode doesn't dig too deeply into that part of the subplot, it clearly shows that Binky was terrified about what would happen if this new school they were attending happened to catch fire just like his old one. And to make things worse, he didn't even realize that he was experiencing PTSD. Binky didn't recognize that his behavior was a sign of something deeper. So when he was asked why he pulled the fire alarm, all he could say was, I don't know. As the episode continued, Binky met a retired firefighter who taught him a valuable lesson. The firefighter explained to Binky that when he experienced his first fire, he was afraid too. In fact, he would later explain that he faced a lot of the same trauma responses that this kid was facing, and that helped Binky a lot. It taught him, as well as everyone watching at home, that it's okay to be afraid. It's okay to not be okay. In life, you're gonna go through major events that might shake you to the core, and that's perfectly natural. All you can do is your best to overcome your hardships and live life to the best of your ability. Most importantly though, it's gonna take time. By the end of the episode, each of the kids was on their way to resolving their inner conflicts. But what is really nice about the show is that none of them got over their pain right away. Much like in real life, you can't get over something traumatic within a matter of minutes or days. It can take weeks, months, years, and sometimes even decades, depending on the pain and how one chooses to cope. But what do you think about April 9th and Arthur's take on the 9-11 terrorist attack? Did they handle the topic of PTSD in young kids well? Well, be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I look forward to reading everything you all have to say.